Elon Musk's Neuralink recently announced its first wireless brain implant in a human patient. The goal to improve communication for those with spinal cord injuries. The University of Houston's Brain Center does similar research and is working with a patient who had a brain implant for seven years. Sherman Chow spoke with him about how the technology works and the latest advancements. Ian Burkhardt was an active teenager when in 2010 a diving accident severed his spinal cord, paralyzing from his mid-chest down. In 2014, he had a microchip implanted into his brain. Essentially can listen in on when I'm thinking about moving my hand. And then they were able to decode those signals and feed that back into a device that stimulated the muscles on my forearm. That was a first. The Ohio State University study met hundreds of hours of practice until Ian could pick up a cup, swipe a credit card, even play Guitar Hero. We kind of focused on like three different songs, so I got a little bored of the songs over and over again. <laughs> Ian's device had two parts. Chip that's on the surface of the brain. But then that leads to a connector piece that's screwed into the skull um, that can be plugged into the computer. So infection was always a risk. That's why Ian's device was removed in 2021. But the new Neuralink implant is completely wireless and connects to more of the brain. I'm certainly excited about the Neuralink device. It's different in the sense that it's fully implanted. It has a bunch of different threads instead of one kind of chip of uh, signal that it can record from, so it can record from a larger area in the brain. While Neuralink has released very little information so far, thanks to founder Elon Musk, its implant has gotten a lot of attention. But there are plenty of other studies. Ian is now working with the University of Houston's Brain Center and a co-author on its meta-study compiling and reviewing existing research. It's been a total of about 67 people who have participated in research um, to use these types of devices to restore communication or to restore movement like myself. U of H hopes to publish this new study in about two months. Sherman Chow, KHOU 11 News.